This happened one morning. The children on their way to school, everything normal. For Billy, on duty at the corner, everything was under control, or so he thought. We have an accident investigation unit, 17th and Euclid, at property damage only. 10-4. And one at a time, I'd like to get a little description of... Everybody car. seemed to have a different version of what happened, and they all wanted to tell about it at once. He was driving too fast. He nearly hit Althea. He ran into the white car. The accident investigation unit was on the scene by the time the school bell rang. A driver who hits and runs doesn't realize how much evidence he may leave behind. From skid marks, the police can learn the speed he was traveling. The collision left paint scrapings from his car that can be analyzed in the laboratory. There's a hubcap that probably fell off his car. With its work here completed, the accident investigation unit leaves, and Officer Richardson can go back to the everyday work of patrolling his beat. That afternoon, after school, Billy is back on duty at his corner. Except for late stragglers, most of the children have gone home. The skid marks still show. And Billy is thinking about what happened when... Billy? What's that? It's from the car number. You mean from the accident this morning? Uh-huh. Well, why didn't you show it to the policeman? It's only part of the number. Well, gee, that doesn't matter. It still might be important. Listen, I'll be done here in a few minutes. You go call your mother and tell her what we're doing, and we'll get down to the police station and show them. Okay. And that's how Officer Richardson met Althea and Billy again. They were looking for the station house as he was coming in. Then he learned why they were there. Blue of all to the hit-and-run car. Though they knew only the first three numbers of the car license plate, not many cars had these numbers. And with the other information on the color and type of car, Officer Richardson soon came up with a name and the rest of the number. Hey, Swank. You broadcast a lookout for a 1960 two-door Falcon Blue. Tags, 271554 for hit and run. Broadcast to look out for 60 Falcon Blue, two door. This is Communication Center, Police Headquarters. From here, the message is broadcast right. citywide. Attention all cars, wanted for hit and run accident, property damage only. Look out for a blue 1960 Falcon, two door. Tags, 271554, 1209. Across town, a police officer checks on the owner of the missing automobile. The officer leaves a message asking him to call or come into the police precinct station. While the search was getting underway, Officer Richardson thought Althea and Billy might like to look around the station house. The radio a foot patrolman carries allows him to call the station house and to be called while he is on his beat. You push this button here and the top and you let up to listen, okay? Okay. Calling station house, calling the station house. Can you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. What you had to, but... 
I've got a desperate criminal. Over. Good work, officer. Bring him in. Over now. Fingerprinting is an important means of tracking down criminals, of identifying lost or injured people, or people who have forgotten who they are, who have what is called amnesia. The afternoon shift is about to start, and these police officers gather in the assembly room for their assignments. The missing person for the section, Frank Stone from East Potomac Park. He's a white male in 27, description of clothing unknown. Wanted for armed robbery, Lee Franks, white male in 31. Use caution, considered extremely dangerous, may be armed. Thomas? Yes, sir. Check for a stolen bike number The policeman 10. does many ordinary things each day, but he is always on the edge of danger and violence. Possible gang fight in the early evening hours. Hicks? Yes, sir. Investigate for a house breaking, Mr. Joseph Manroth, number 2310 Corkin Street. Look out for a 1960 Blue Falcon two-door, tag number 271554. Wanted for hit and run, property damage only, occurred 8.30 a.m. this morning, 17th in Euclid. Attention, just right. These police officers will carry on patrol of the city for the next eight hours until midnight, when another shift will take over for the rest of the night. Some patrolmen patrol their beats by motorcycle. Their job is mostly traffic safety. Other patrolmen cruise the streets in squad cars. While keeping a watchful eye on the neighborhood, they are always ready to answer calls that come in over their police radios. Officer Richardson patrols his beat on foot. During three years, he's gotten to know every street of this neighborhood and many of the people who live there. People like Billy and Althea they know they can rely on him or another police officer to be on guard every hour of the day or night, rain or shine. A foot patrolman does many things as he walks his beat. He may check empty stores or houses when the owners are away. I told you I'd pay you about a week. I don't care, man. You tell me you was going to pay me to that, you have a pen. Two days. No, man, you don't have to push me, man. Get your money. I want my money, man. I want my money. Hey, hey, what's the trouble here? What's the matter? He said, wait, 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 When some problems come up, he may deal with them right on the spot. The policeman can help to cool off tempers when there's a fight brewing. Boy, you're out here in this house. Wait, 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 all right, so listen to what I got to say. A hole in the road might cause a blowout or damaged wheel. The policeman will report it, and repairs will be made. Officer Richardson talks to boys and girls about coming in for bike registration. Every bike is given a number, and if it is lost or stolen, getting it back will be a lot easier if it has been registered. We know this boy will sign up. He wants to keep that shiny new racer he's got. Space 3 to 51. 5-1 by. Go to 2515 Adams Street. Advise Mrs. Carr her husband became sick on a bus and is now at City Hospital. Condition not serious. Advise wife to contact hospital. Officer Richardson has many reasons to call on people in this neighborhood having nothing to do with crime. The people on his beat are good people. There are few real lawbreakers, and he is proud to serve as their policeman. Police officers cover every part of the city, and many have unusual beats. In park areas, a horse will carry a policeman to places a car cannot go. Around a city's docks, he may be concerned with both theft problems and with the safety of people using the water.
A bird's eye view helps the policeman to spot and report traffic problems quickly. Traffic cop to the radio. Radio to traffic cop. Disabled auto outbound on Maryland Avenue at 10th Street. Radio is 10-4. Like most other people, the police officer does work that is much the same from one day to another. There's traffic to be controlled. Visitors in need of direction. There's lab work to be done. Photographs to be taken. At the central switchboard, police officers handle thousands of calls every day from people in need of help. All right, little girl. You stay right where you are. Tell your brother not to be afraid, and we'll be right there. Okay? All right. It's got 61, small child locked in a bathroom on the second floor, at 612 Maple Street, Northwest. The sister will be standing by. Advise 11:43 a.m. Scout 61 at 10:4. The policeman in squad car 61 will quickly solve this little girl's problem. The lives of policemen may be in danger at any moment, and they must be prepared. In special classes, policemen learn how to protect themselves against attack, as well as the latest methods of detecting and fighting crime. Dogs are also trained for special police work. They learn strict obedience. On the command of stay, for example, they will stay for hours if need be until commanded otherwise. Perhaps the most important part of their work is tracking. With just a sniff of something that has been handled or worn by someone who may be lost, this dog's remarkable sense of smell will put him on the trail. This is a training exercise for this dog. Next time, he may be looking for a real child lost in the woods. It's been a big day for Althea and Billy, but there's one more surprise left. Althea sees it first. The wanted car coming in. Has he come to give himself up? Are you Mr. John Walker? Yes, I am. Hey, officer, what's this all about? Let's anyway? see your registration, please. Yeah, all right. We had a hit-and-run accident this morning or 17th and Euclid, and your car, or a car like this, was observed, and we want to check it out. I didn't do anything. You mind if I look sure, at your car, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Is this the car that was in the accident? Is this the driver? Suddenly, Billy and Althea aren't so sure. Sir, would you mind coming on in the precinct room and we can fill out a couple accident reports? Look, I didn't do anything at all. Well, if you didn't, everything will be fine. I just want to talk to you and we'll try and get this thing straightened out and you'll be on your way, okay? You mind? Right. Okay. Thank you. The men of the police department go about their work, getting the facts, collecting evidence. There they stop. They are not judge or jury. They do not sentence or punish. That is for the courts. Did he do it or didn't he? That question won't be settled here, and it won't be settled by Officer Richardson. But he will find out as much as he can so the court can decide fairly. So the guilty will be punished, and the innocent will be protected. That's all the information we need to complete our accident report for him at this time. Well, as I said, I didn't do it, and I wasn't anywhere near there. But all right, so we have uh, some paint samples from your car and also from the scene of the accident. We're going to compare these two samples and find out if it was your car. And thank you very much for coming down, sir. Right. 